Hey guys. So long time no talk, long time no see. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Life has just been kind of crazy and I just haven't really been feeling too inspired to film anything. Um, I recently wanted to do an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing, but unfortunately I canceled my subscription to Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, it wasn't anything personal, it was just I started accumulating way too much makeup and it just wasn't worth it anymore to me to keep it. So I decided not to do that video, but anyway, that's over and done with. So, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be testing out and reviewing the Frozen 2 collection with ColourPop. So, as I mentioned in my What I Got For Christmas video, I got both the Anna collection and the Elsa collection for Christmas this past year. and. I really got it basically because I think my boyfriend knows I have an obsession with Disney. You guys may not know that yet, but I do. So yeah, so without further ado, let's just get on to this video. I completely forgot to mention to you guys that I ended up splurging a little bit and investing in my channel a little bit more and I got a camera. Um, I'll leave the details in the description box below, but yeah, I I just kind of went out on a whim and purchased one. Um, I don't necessarily know how to work with the settings just yet, so bear with me if the video is not coming out the way that it should be. But hopefully the quality of it is just a little bit better. But yeah. So jumping right in, I'm just priming my eyelids with my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Um, I want to test out both eyeshadow palettes today, so I'm thinking I will do one eyeshadow palette on one eye and the other eyeshadow palette on the other eye. It might sound crazy, but we're just going to go with it. So we are a little bit more up close and personal, which I wasn't able to do before. So first off, we are just going in with the Elsa palette. And the colors in here seem really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to take this shade right up here in Fire. What's really nice about these eyeshadow palettes is that they actually came with a mirror. I'm trying to adjust my lighting because I don't want these colors to get washed out. Um, I want you guys to actually kind of see how they apply. So far, they look like they're doing a fairly decent job. I'm only using one shade, but it looks like it's blending out pretty well. It might be a little bit patchy on this inner part right here, but we'll just have to kind of work with it and see. And I was kind of gonna say, I don't wanna go too, too crazy, but I guess having is two different looks on my eyes is going to be crazy enough, won't it? This shade right down here in Spindrift, and I'm just going to kind of buff that on the outer corner-ish. I heard mixed reviews about these, and I was very skeptical about getting them to begin with, like, like asking for them, but oh yeah, this one looks pretty patchy. Hopefully I can blend this out, build it up a little bit better. Actually it doesn't look too, too bad. I'm just going to grab that same blending brush and just kind of buff it out. As I'm blending, it doesn't seem to be blending out very well. 
that makes it seem to be pretty patchy now. Um, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about this palette yet. Maybe I just have to not blend so much. But that just looks fairly harsh. Anyway, I'm going to pick up this shade up in the corner in Northern Lights. That looks incredible. Let's see what it looks like without spritzing it. And yes. Oh, rats. I'm actually going to go over top with the the Dark Sea Eyeshadow Gel. Oh, just kidding. It's a glitter gel. I'm just going to take that with an Alomar Cosmetics Flat Packer Brush. Ew, this sounds disgusting. Anyway. <laughs> and I'm just going to see... I guess if I'm doing something kind of fun and whimsical, I guess this isn't so bad. I'm curious to see if this will dry down at all, but it just seems kind of sticky for what it is. Now I'm just going to pick up this shade right here in the corner in Cuddle Close. And I'm just going to pop that on my brow bone. I'm not the biggest fan of this look right now, but we're just going to move on. So for the Anna palette, we are just going to take this shade right here in Wind and hopefully have a little bit better luck. I'm just buffing it in my crease. The Anna palette overall, like regardless if I end up liking this or not, it looks, it kind of just looks a little bit more um, like put together, like it looks a little bit more cohesive. Um, as far as like the color, the color selections and everything like that compared to the Elsa collection. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I don't prefer Anna over Elsa or vice versa. It's just observations. This shade down here in charades, this one right here. I'm going to be taking this shade right here in Autumn Breeze and I'm going to blend that attempt to on my outer corner. As of right now, the Anna palette seems to be a little bit more blendable. So not only is it a bit more cohesive as far as the color selection, but it seems to be a bit more blendable than the Elsa palette. The dark shadow in the Elsa palette seemed to just be a little bit more patchy, a little bit harder to work with, whereas the Anna one just blended out kind of seamlessly. Now I'm going to be taking the Anna um, glitter gel in the shade Waterfall. It just looks like that. These seriously sound and like feel disgusting, to be perfectly honest. So what I am noticing is that when I would normally place down a glitter or metallic shadow, I would normally use a swiping motion as well as the packing motion. 
Um, you can actually do that with these. It really just has to be a packing motion. So just something to keep in mind, not just for these, but for any glitter gel that you may purchase from ColourPop. Now I'm going to pick up this shade right here in Scooch In, and I'm going to just pop that on my brow bone. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my outer corners, put on the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to finish up the lower lash line and to do some swatches of all of the lip products. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I realize my under eyes look a little crazy. Um, I was having some issues with my concealer, but that's besides the point. So, to finish up the lower lash line, because I do not want to have another fail like I did before. From the Ana palette, I'm just going to pick up this shade right here, and that is in Autumn Breeze. Then I'm going to pick up this shade down here in Fearless. And with an e.l.f. contour brush, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to pick up Spin Drift right down here. Then with another e.l.f. pencil brush, I'm going to pick up Fire, which is this one right in the middle and just blend that on my lower lash line as well just to kind of diffuse it a little bit still overall I would say that I prefer the Anna palette over the Elsa palette I could see myself dabbling into the Anna palette way more than the Elsa palette if I was going for something a little bit more whimsical and kind of edgy, I would probably dip into the Elsa palette. But anyway, let's get into the lips. So the collection actually came with two lip products each. One is an ultra glossy lip, and one is a luxe lipstick. Um, to be perfectly honest, I would definitely choose the luxe lipstick as opposed to the glossy lip, just because let's be real it's glitter so for the sake of this video I'm going to be testing them both we'll just go right in by the way this is in the shade mythic journey ooh this smells delicious honestly it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be It's actually really comfortable and it isn't as glittery as I thought it was going to be so that might actually not be too bad. Next we are going to go in with the Luxe Lipstick and this is in the shade Little Snow. And this is just a beautiful like berry shade. I would definitely have to use a lip liner, but again, very comfortable. I love the Lux lipstick formula, so that was already a given. You'll have to excuse my lips. I am doing all of these swatches all at once. Next, I'm going to be testing out the Anna collection. And again, these seem to be a little bit more wearable, a little bit more everyday-ish, but we will just see. I'm going to go in with the Ultra Glossy Lip in Free Spirit. It just looks like this. These literally smell like vanilla cupcakes. Ugh, or like sugar cookies smells so good. Super wearable, super comfortable. It 
And lastly, we are going to go in with the Lux lipstick in the shade Going North. And this one is more of like a brick red nude, I would say. Again, I would need to use a lip liner for this, but I really like this look. I like this color. I think I'm going to keep this one on. So now's the time to give you guys my reviews, first impressions. Um, so like I've said multiple times, the Elsa palette is a little bit underwhelming. The shadows are a little bit harder to play with. They just don't blend out as well. I, I will say that the glitter shadows or the metallic shades in here probably perform a little bit better than the mattes. Um, which there are more metallics or glitter shades than mattes, so that could be a plus. The Anna palette, on the other hand, is amazing. The shadows, both matte and shimmer, work really well, blend out beautifully, so I'm excited about this one. I'm excited to test it out a little bit more. I could see myself traveling with this. It looks fabulous. As far as these um, glitter gels go, the Anna side, so my right, which is your left, came out a little bit easier, a little bit better, a little bit more put together. Um, my right eye always seems to come out a little bit better anyway. I feel like n not knowing what to expect when I applied the Elsa one, I feel like it didn't I didn't know what I was getting myself into, so I didn't really know how to apply it. But then with the Anna one, it looked a little bit more put together. But you guys will be the ultimate critics. But these I would just recommend because if I'm being perfectly honest, my whole eye is not covered. So I would I would suggest going in with one of the metallic shades and then going over top with this um, just to get a more like full coverage glittery look but overall I like these I will definitely be using them in the future this white shade is just a little bit more again for a whimsical look as opposed to this one where I could use it a little bit more every day as far as the lip products go all four of them I love them I love the colors and honestly the formulas of them are all really really nice really comfortable really easy to wear I don't know about how long they last on the lips, but I mean, I've used ultra glossy lips plenty of times before, and I've also used the Lux lipsticks many times before, and I've always had to reapply, um, but that's honestly not an issue for me. If you're looking for a more long lasting one, you might want to try their ultra satins or their ultra mattes, um, but yeah. I really like these as well. Okay guys, so that completes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.